Hello friends, my name is Rizwan Khan and this is RK Tutorial. Do you remember this project? Uh, yeah. Which I was promised you that I will show you the complete tutorial of this project. This project is based on Bootstrap, jQuery, Ajax method, PHP, MySQL and little bit CSS. So without wasting time, let's start this project from today. First we need to create the environment for this project. For this I'm using ZAMP you know ZAMP and let's come to the folder uh, ZAMP within C drive I have a folder stdocs uh, within ZAMP now create a new folder that is our project 1 ok our project 1 our project one folder is ready open this folder and now visit the official website of bootstrap just come to the your favorite browser and type get bootstrap.com okay we are in the folder of uh, in of website of bootstrap uh, here is the big button of download bootstrap it's a current version 3.36 and upcoming version is 4 which is coming so let's for it and download bootstrap 3.36 just click on this button download bootstrap yeah we are in the download section uh, it is 3.3.6 so and it is the download bootstrap here is the direct link CDNs uh, we are not going to use uh, this CDNs because uh, it affects our performance and it will work live and we are working in XAM so I am going to download this uh, bootstrap because of good performance and better experience just download click on the download bootstrap button ok I am going to save it in my desktop and just uh, leave it as it is the save desktop and click on start download after downloading we have a folder uh, bootstrap 3.3.6-2 in the desktop so just cut it from here and Mm, go to the uh, project one folder and paste it here with control V now I'm going to extract it uh, winzip this is a zip folder so extract to here so now we have this bootstrap extracted folder now I'm going to delete, delete this zip folder just delete it with a single click and open it just copy these three folders with uh, copy and paste it out of out so uh, here and delete this folder bootstrap now we have three folder css and we require this bootstrap.min and in js folder we require this bootstrap main so our folder is ready now I'm going to my favorite notepad te plus plus text editor this is my favorite text editor mm, basic syntax of HTML5 top type HTML 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 I'm going to save it first and name it index.php okay it is saved uh, now we need one more file that is jquery file just type jquery.com so we are in the official website of jquery here is the download button just click on this button and here is the download you can see download the compressed production jquery 3.0.0 download it it is started ok I have uh, this jquery now I'm going to open it 
this is my downloaded jQuery 3.0.0 main and just I'm cut it from here and paste in your project 1 folder which is this one I'm going to paste it within JS folder within JS folder paste I have a file which is jQuery 3.0 I'm going to change this name okay everything is fine now I'm going to create the HTML structure so this is the basic HTML5 structure now I give a title and so I'm giving Carnage Store as my favorite uh, add uh, style sheet close and then add a add a script src source copy this script uh, this is this is for bootstrap.min.js and this is for jquery and this is my main js so for this I'm going to add first of all this is our uh, uh, where is our files this is our project 1 folder within project I have a folder CSS and I have file bootstrap main dot just copy the name and come to the folder uh, index file and this is our in CSS folder just type CSS slash paste the name and dot CSS next file is in my js folder you can see this is project 1 folder this is js folder we have bootstrap main and we have jquery so i'm going to add jquery first it is very important uh, we, we need to maintain order if uh, you add jquery after um, before the bootstrap main.js then it will create problem so uh, maintain the order jfs slash jquery dot js always jquery be, um, keep first before the bootstrap min dot js js slash bootstrap dot min dot js now our all file is ready bushamin.css to jquery.js and uh, our own file our own personal script script and src equals to I'm giving it a name main.js save and create a new page and save it at as in the same folder project one main dot js this is, this is for js and we are going to create a new php page and save it as action dot php save now we have three now we have three files index dot php main dot js and action dot php so in the next part of the video we will create the uh, bootstrap templates like uh, this one so meet you in the next part and i hope you like my videos and if you like these videos please like and subscribe uh, for this video i hope you like this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe for next tutorial meet you in the next part and till now take care